Hey friends, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of an extreme Airbnb right next to Walt Disney World. This eight bedroom, five bathroom house completely transforms into a fairy tale castle the second you walk through those doors. And you guys know I love themed Airbnbs and this is up there with some of the best I've seen including the Harry Potter house and the Star Wars house. Anywho's, let's go do this. From the outside, it looks like a regular normal home, but as soon as you go in, you embark on a fairy tale adventure full of dragons, kings, queens, knights, and every single area is completely immersive, and the theming is out of control, and you can stay here while you visit Walt Disney World, and that's probably the best thing. We're gonna head in so I can give you the grand tour of all the amazingly themed bedrooms. And if you guys want to stay here, uh, I will put a link in the description with all the information of how you can rent it the next time you take a vacation down here to Orlando, Florida. And you're gonna love it. It is pretty amazing in there. As soon as you walk up to the door, you can see the doormat say Once Upon a Castle by Loma Holmes. And they're the creators of this house. And they also created the Harry Potter themed Airbnb and the Star Wars Airbnb. And I've made videos on both of them. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. And they're known for their immersiveness. And I cannot wait to show you. Wow. Look at this. It's so crazy because on the outside, it just looks like a regular home, but then as soon as you walk in, it's like we're in a castle. Everything is just so well themed. Every single area, and we're gonna give you a grand tour, and there's special effects in most of the rooms too, and it's, it's really, really awesome. Like I said outside, eight bedrooms, five bathrooms, and they're all separately themed, and each of the bedrooms have like a special effect inside them, and they're so magical, and it's such a creative concept. I really, really do love giving you guys tours and showing you these houses, because to me, it's like a, a piece of art. Like they put so much work and detail into every single like nook and cranny, and I just love it. They also have interactive games throughout the house. For instance, uh, take upon the sword, search through the kingdom with blade in hand, for nine of these emblems are throughout the land. When one is found, pierce it with the sword, closer to immortality you have gone toward. So we're gonna have to bring this along with us on our tour. And I think we'll start down here on the first floor. You know it's gonna be an adventure if you have to walk around with a sword. I think that is so cool. Look at this, ooh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> right in the kitchen area, they have a little welcome kit. Oh, wow, they have the world's greatest marshmallows here, key lime pie. You know I love these, they sell them at Disney Springs. And you can get some crowns, some pins, some really good stuff, and don't just stay, experience Loma Homes. And take a look at the living area. It is so nice. And of course the dining room reminds me of the nights at the round table. Isn't that so amazing? The artwork, everything in here is like top notch. It really is. They pay attention to detail like nothing I've ever seen before. Can we just talk about the fact that they have a spinning wheel in the living room? I'm pretty sure they took the spindle out so nobody touches it and ends up like Sleeping Beauty. But isn't that so cool? That's what I'm talking about, the detail. I love it. I'm sure it's just for deck. Oh no, it actually spins. Oh, look at that. <laughs> We're gonna head in and check out our first bedroom. And I'm pretty sure this one is the royal suite on the main floor. And like I said, there are so many other bedrooms and they're all separately themed. Something for everybody, for adults, for kids, and for dreamers. And I can't wait to show you inside this room because it is really gorgeous. Just look at the detail as you're walking down the hallway above the door frame and the door itself. Like, <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Like, so beautiful. I love the arch and the ceiling there, the lights, everything, the mirrors. And I love how everything has like a castle like pattern to it. It really, really is so cool. Oh, look, we even have a crown. You can actually have your own crown. I think I need to wear this. Now I have a crown and I'm carrying around a sword and I'm ready. I'm ready to get to, to slay some dragons. I think I see one of the emblems that we actually have to touch. So we're gonna pierce it with the sword. Welcome, your highness. Please enjoy your stay. 
Wow, that is really awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Welcome, Your Highness. Please enjoy your stay. Well, I think I will. <laughs> I'm not going to show you all of the emblems with the swords for the scavenger hunt because if you do plan to stay here, I still want it to kind of be like a scavenger hunt. So I will show you a couple of them though. Seriously though, isn't this room so beautiful? I love it. Like, oh wow, this feels amazing. And it also has its own bathroom. And you guys got to make sure to let me know uh, once I get done showing you all of the uh, rooms, which one is your favorite or where you would want to sleep in. And this royal room has its own bathroom and it's fitting for a king or a queen, I can tell you that. All the gold, a gigantic jacuzzi tub. Oh wow, look at that. I've never seen <laughs> anything like that for a jacuzzi tub before. A little privacy and they also have a stand-up shower so this is very very nice I love it like I said it is so well themed now we're gonna make our way upstairs I still got my sword and uh, we're gonna show some of the other themed bedrooms and then we're gonna come back down and show you the overlay out like the kitchen the living room and all the other amazing things holy moly look at this stairway right here <laughs> I've only seen pictures of this place, so this is my first time actually seeing it completely done, and I'm impressed. Holy moly! <laughs> this is so cool! Once upon a time... Oh, what is that? Look at this! What? <laughs> it's so magical! Once upon a time, in a land quite unknown, a family went on their travels to what they thought was a home. As they crept through the castle, a dragon war they did hear, but with staff, bow, and sword, they knew not to fear. Well, look at that! Oh, wow! <laughs> Sorry, I get so excited about the littlest things, but I love it. Okay, so it looks like each of the bedrooms have these little crests on the doors themselves. And uh, I guess we'll start right over here. Looks like it's a knight's room. We'll head on in. Oh, wow. Well, this is so nice. I really, really like it. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is really, really cool. I love it. They put so much theming in here. If I was a kid, I would love to stay here. Like, it would be such a dream come true. Oh, and I also see one of the emblems. All right, I'm gonna show you this one, but I don't wanna show you all of them. Let's see what happens. That's cool. Sounds like an epic sword fight happening. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, someone just shot off the catapult here. Oh, we can hear a dragon too. My initial thought was, can we take the weapons off the wall? Uh, but you can't. They're actually fastened, actually, right to the wall themselves. But they do have some foam swords and stuff like that that you can play with. And I like it. And this has its own bedroom or has its own bathroom as well. We'll take a look-see in here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn on the lights, though. There we go. So this is the bathroom for the night's room. And look at it. I, I, I really do love it. Everything is so themed, like everything. They pay attention to the littlest thoughts. Like even having this right behind the door when you only notice it when you actually have the door closed, but I love it. <laughs> You're gonna hear me say I love it probably a hundred times only because I truly do love it. You know, <laughs> I get excited. I get super excited and I just kind of blah. <laughs> Now we're gonna head into the room across the hall and this one might be for the girls. Yeah, take a look-see in here. Oh wow, it's Rapunzel's tower. Look at that, it's a bunk bed. Well, that's really, really cool. So you can basically choose to sleep on top or inside Rapunzel's tower up top here because you can actually go in here from the bed and the bed looks like super comfy, doesn't it? And I love the colors in here. Everything like just matches so well. The walls, the art, like, like the, the painting and the art inside these rooms are really like well, well done. But I like this. 
Another really cool thing to point out is because they have like special effects, either they have sounds or they have lights. In case you don't want that, you can actually turn it off and it's just regular like lighting in a room. So they give you that, you know, uh, option. I mean, but who would? Like who would want to shut it off? Like, you know what I mean? Isn't that so cool? But just in case, like if you wanted to shut off the special lights at Rapunzel's Tower, you just turn that off. Turn it on. Turn it off. We're going to continue going through the rest of the house now, but I still can't get over how well the stairway up to the second floor is. Like, that is so beautiful. Like, can you imagine coming out of your bedrooms and just, like, seeing this as you're walking through your house? Like, just to rent this place, but can you imagine living in a house like this? I would love it. Oh, I'm sure we got a magic mirror here. That's what it looks like. Yeah, a little magic mirror here. I see some buttons, maybe if one. Something. Beauty is rare, and you lack not that. Oh. But more important is where your heart is at. Well, thank you so much. There's other buttons too. You will travel far and wide. This is your destiny. I tell no lies. Thank you. Honestly, I didn't think it can get better, but it did. It really, really gets better. So we just walked through this way. We came upon the magic mirror and take a look at the second floor up here. I love it. Holy moly. This is so remarkable, isn't it? Like, I'm kind of really, really like mesmerized and I just want to live here. <laughs> I want to live here. It is so nice. They have a gigantic throne. Of course, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try the throne. Look at me, king of the castle, king of the castle, <laughs> and I got my knights. All right. So from this area, it looks like we have one bedroom here, two more bedrooms, and then another bedroom here, and then we have the movie theater that is behind us. I think right here, because the movie theater usually has the double doors. So. Uh, I guess we'll start over here. We'll start in this, uh, this bedroom right here with a unicorn. Oh, look, a unicorn outside the door. I'm trying to decide what this would be, like this crest on the outside, because you notice it kind of gives you a hint of what the room's gonna be like. And I would guess it's like frozen or snow. So, oh, I wonder if it's Elsa's ice castle, because that would make sense, you know what I mean? It's a castle-themed house, and Elsa's ice castle is pretty, pretty, oh, that's what it is. Wow, look at this. Wow, this is so, so awesome. Look at the lights up there. I'm gonna turn this on real quick. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy moly. I love it. This is so pretty in here. The artwork, just the ice itself. I like how it has the blue lights. That's why the lights were off. This is so cool. I really want to see what the special effect is with the sword in here, but I'm not sure I can find the emblem, but there is a button to press. And if I've seen any of the other Loma homes, if you see a button, you got to press it. Right behind the bed itself, you see there's a little blue button there, so we're going to... Oh. Oh, that is cool. It's fog. I like it. Hold on, I'm gonna have to set this up. I wanna show you guys. This is, oh, look at how mysterious it looks like. We gotta shut the lights off. Yeah, I gotta keep it nice and eerie in here. I don't wanna get too smoky, but. I had to open up a window. I really smoked up the place. <laughs> it's really, really smoky in here. Now, I think we're gonna head to the movie theater. I'm gonna show you the movie theater because it's right next to the, uh, Ice Queen Castle, the Ice Castle. In the Harry Potter house, my favorite room was probably the Forbidden Forest movie theater. That was so, so cool. And uh, I can't wait to see what this one is. Kind of reminds me that it's gonna be something of a forest because you can see there's some, some little squirrels on the uh, crest on the outside here. We'll take a see. Oh yeah. Oh, I like it. It is so nice, look at this. Little tiny sleepy fox there and it smells like a forest. Why does it smell so good in here? Wow, I love it. Oh, and I see tons of buttons. There's a lot of buttons here. 
like I said, if you see buttons in a Loma home, you have to press them. Look at, I'm pointing with my sword, which is very dangerous. Don't do that. Ah! And look at all the sleeping pillows. Look at little tiny fox and a raccoon and a bear. You also get a little popcorn machine, so I guess we're going to press the buttons. What does it say on there? It says, I have big paws and thick fur and I'm the dark caves. I hibernate. What am I? Oh, you're a bear. Oh, they make little bear sounds. That's cool. Over here, it says, You'll hear me before you see me. I chirp at dusk, but the funny thing is, I do not have lungs. What am I? Crickets. Oh, that's kind of cool. Sometimes I listen to crickets when I'm trying to fall asleep. I'm related to a raven and extremely smart. What am I? Ooh, see these are really cool. There's some more over here too. And I just love all of the trees. And like I said, the attention to detail is top notch here. Ooh, I bet you this is an owl. Who? <laughs> I sleep when it's light and take flight in the night. That is so awesome. And then of course a little froggy over here. Little chirp, yep. I like it. This is really, really cool. That's gonna be hard to beat for like one of my favorite rooms, but we still have uh, I think three more to go three more rooms to go Let's make our way back over to this side of the house and we'll go into these rooms over here We'll start with this one. This looks like a princess one Ah, you know what I see kind of like a little Cinderella carriage there. So kind of know where this is going Yes, I do look at that a bed inside of a Cinderella carriage. Wow. I like it. I wonder what the special effect is in here. We'll have to turn, oh, we're gonna shut the lights off, turn the effect off. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Wow. This is really, really cool. And you get to just lay up in bed. I bet you it's so soft too. Oh yeah. This seems like a nice bed. That is really cool. And they all have TVs and this one probably is a bathroom. So it shares the bathroom with the one that's next door. And uh, maybe we'll look at the bathroom afterwards. And I bet you at night, all these stars glow. So that's probably really, really pretty. Now let's go over to the other room there. And I feel like I should name these guys. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just kind of like them. Like, I really think it's so cool. We're gonna call him Fred and we're gonna call him Troy and uh steve and zach yeah sounds good and then we got harry the moose on top there those sound like great names and since we're passing the magic mirror again i found another button on the bottom here See what thou desires you shall receive that is unless you have too much greed very very wise and this one right here, the crest kind of looks like a library. So I'm going to assume that it's a, it's a library. <laughs> it's actually a really, really pretty library. Wow. Look at this. It's like a library library. The paint and the artwork. Like, I wonder if this is wallpaper or did they paint this? Because that is, that is mind-blowing, isn't it? So, so beautiful. It literally looks just like bookshelves. And the bed is so nice, too. The bed is like this. This is might be my favorite bed out of all of it because I like the headboard itself and I like the bed. Like, this is really, really nice. And we got a little rose on the side there. Oh, oh boy, should we do it? I see an emblem there. Let's do it. Well, that's cute. If you put your sword to it, it lights the rose up. I like that. That is really, really nice. This room really has like my favorite look to it. I just love the library and the books. And if this isn't wallpaper and they actually painted this, I am impressed, like beyond impressed. That is so remarkable, but I feel like it has to be wallpaper. It has to be. Okay, it looks like we've got one more bedroom to go. One more bedroom. How you guys doing? Tom, Frank, Caleb, Austin, Sally, 
I think I renamed them. <laughs> but here is the last room here. Look at it. Oh, ah, the sword in the stone. Wow, I should have come here first. Like, <laughs> the sword in the stone. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the way the sun is shining. Oh, wait, that's just, that's the paint. I thought that was the sun coming in from the window there. Wow. That is so amazing. I can't wait to see what like the effects are in here. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, you got a little slide. You got a little slide right there. This is so cool. And I feel like this bed is like, it, it's gotta be custom made because it's not like something you can order online. You know, hi, can I have a sword in the stone bed, please? <laughs> that is so, so cool. Let's go take a look, see here at the sword itself. I wonder if I can pull it out like I want to. Oh, it lights up when you touch it. Wow, holy moly. That's cool, huh? Papa, that is really, really awesome. I don't think you can actually take it out because I'm not, well, I can't take it out. I must not be the chosen one, you know? But wow, this is really, really cool. Oh, and I bet you that is a bathroom that was shared with the other room. That would make sense, actually. I think I'm gonna call it, this is my favorite room. Like this is so, so awesome. I love, I love Sword in the Stone. And I just remembered, I think there's one more bedroom downstairs that we didn't check out yet. So we have to check that out. And they also have an activity room. So another room down there. So there's a lot more to show you. Now let's head back downstairs so I can show you those other rooms. And I just love walking or navigating through this house. It is so, so cool. See you later there, Hank. I wonder if the uh, magic actually happens when you walk down the staircase. Like, you know how we came up? Uh, it looked like, like Tinkerbell was flying there. Let's see if it happens when we walk down it. Oh, I guess it's only when you come up. Look at these murals here too. Look, it's like a family showing up ready for vacation and then they become knights. That is so, so cool. It really tells a story. I kind of want to see it happen again. Oh. It's happening behind my back. It's happening behind my back. <laughs> I still think that dining room table is so awesome. And this is the living room. So I didn't really give you a big, big view of all of it. Outside, there's a pool area. I'll show you that later on. This is the kitchen area here itself. Comes with all the works, a working fridge, a coffee pot. You know, thank God it wasn't really a castle like kitchen because then you wouldn't really have anything. And over here was the bedroom I think we forgot about. And then this is the garage area, which is a play area. So let's take a look, see in the garage. Ooh, it's like you're under sea or the moat. Oh, you got a little echo in here. Hello, huh. pool table. So that kind of makes sense. Under the sea, like a moat itself. And it comes with a backup fridge in here. That's really, really cool. Nice pool table, some foosball, little activity room. And then back over here, that's where the bedroom was at. Yeah, right here. We kind of walked right past this, but I think I'm gonna hang the sword back up because we're not gonna show anymore. So we're gonna hang it up right there. There we go, it goes that way. Yeah, let's take a look, see here. Oh, wow. This one is so awesome. It's so pretty in here. Look at the fireplace. Oh, we really missed out. I should have showed you this one too. It's funny, the last two rooms I showed you are the ones I like the most. Yeah, <laughs> I should have started out strong. I didn't know though, I haven't seen it before. And I'm guessing the effect is the fireplace itself, so you can shut that on and off. Oh, look at this bed. Yeah, special lights, you can shut it off. I love it. And then all the wicker baskets up top here. This is really, really cute. And it's got its own bathroom. Ooh, the bathroom smells nice. Gotta turn it on. Ooh, that was bright. And the bathroom kind of fits the theming here too. Look at that. Everything is immaculate. Look at this garbage can. It looks like an old mop bucket. <laughs> that is awesome. One more thing I wanna show you is the pool area outside. Cause you gotta have a pool if you're gonna be in a vacation home in Orlando or near Disney World. Look at that, you got your own private pool with dragon floaties. 
Huh. I love it. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> I think you have to press that to open it up. Yeah, so we're not gonna go out there right now, but I can see a dragon. Any who's, I think that's gonna do it for me for the Grand Tour. I love it. This is such an amazing place. It sleeps so much. I think it sleeps up to 18 people. So like, if you have a big family coming down, renting this out, I think it'd be really cool. It's about uh, 15, 20 minutes from uh, Walt Disney World. So uh, real close to the parks and yeah, really holds up and keeps that standard of like Loma homes and all their properties. And if you guys don't know, I've been making themed Airbnbs for long time now actually and some of them that i've come across were absolutely amazing and the uh the company loma is some of the first ones i've ever done so uh, make sure you go back and check those out i have a whole playlist and uh all you have to do is search it and you'll see it pop up really really cool and i love it here uh if you do want to rent it out i'll put all the information in the description below and uh i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye